of a of a affirmation of office or in the manner sorry and form prescribed by the third schedule or other an act of parliament to this end therefore allow me your excellency to call upon the following newly elected uh, newly appointed cabinet secretaries to proceed and take and prescribe the oath of office as cabinet secretaries the first uh, sir is professor margaret combia the cabinet secretary for public service youth and gender affairs welcome You can sit down, sir. Then. This is what you're going to sign. Where is the phone? You, you read it faster. You read it faster. Which one? The Christian? This is the one Protestant. I, Margaret Corbia, having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary, that uh, I undertake to uphold my office as a Cabinet Secretary with the honor and dignity that I will be a true and a faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. That I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a cabinet secretary. And I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. The second one, Your Excellency, is Honorable John Munez, Cabinet Secretary for Petroleum and Mining. Having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people 
and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary. That I had attacked to all my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity. That, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good of management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. That I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Uh, the third one is uh, Abazida Monica Juma, Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs and International Trade. I, Monica Juma, Having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. The next one is uh, Mr. Kraiko Tobiko, Cabinet Secretary for Environment and Forestry. Christian. Christian. <laughs> what is that? 
Yes, yes, yes. I, Kariyako Tobiko, having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due diligent discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary. And I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. The next one is uh, Mr. Simon Chelugui, the Cabinet Secretary for Water and Sanitation. I, Simon Chelugui, having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary that i undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity that i will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the republic of kenya that i will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and commit, committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
The next one is uh, Rashid Esheza Mohammed. I, Rashid Echesa Mohammed, having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will, I will at all time be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this constitution of Kenya, and, and all other laws of the Republic, of the Republic, that I will well truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary. That I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity. That I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. That I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to the, to the secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary. And that I will perform the functions of my office cons conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Uh, the next one, uh, sir, is uh, Ms. Farida Karone, Cabinet Secretary for Lads and Physical Planning. I, Farida Karone, Having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I will undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, <clears throat> that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Uh, the next one, sir, is Honorable Okuru Yatani Kanasho, Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Protection. I, Okuru Yatani Kanasho, Having been appointed a cabinet secretary of the government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. The next one, sir, is Honorable Peter Munya, Cabinet Secretary for East Africa Community and Northern Corridor Development Program. I, Peter Munya, having been appointed the Cabinet Secretary of the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I, will be, uh, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with the honor and dignity that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. May I now request Your Excellency to address the gathering and later take some photos with the newly appointed cabinet secretaries and their people who have escorted them. Thank Asante. you, sir. Good morning. Let me begin first and foremost by extending my congratulations to each and every one of you for actually having successfully navigated the very difficult path of parliamentary vetting and approval and to say that I look forward to working with each and every one of you as you join me and your colleagues in the process of nation building and fulfilling the dreams and aspirations of our people. Because it is said that a nation is not merely borders and a flag, at its heart a nation is a collective dream based on shared ideals and aspirations. And public service is the true personification of these shared ideals and aspirations for it is through selfless service to the people and the Republic that our Constitution, our anthem, and our national values come alive. Indeed, your appointment into Cabinet comes at one of the most critical moments in Kenya's history. I believe we have set a strong foundation, and now our nation stands ready and poised to take that next big step in its unstoppable march towards sustainable prosperity, unity, stability, and the realization of all the hopes and dreams of every single Kenyan and also future generations. We are a people 45 million strong, and these are people who have entrusted me and you with taking our beloved Kenya boldly towards the destiny she deserves. And I look forward to a cabinet that shall be selfless in service, unimpeachable, integrity, dedication, dedication to duty, and unmatched excellence, especially in bringing into fruition our big four agenda a roof over many more heads at affordable cost, affordable health care for all, value addition, manufacturing and jobs for our young people, and ensuring that hunger becomes a story of the past. My second administration cabinet, I believe, is talented, competent, brimming with potential and reflects also lessons learned from my first administration. I believe you are a group of individuals greater than the sum of your parts, made stronger and better by your diversity and varied experience. To those which we must never forget, whom much has been given, much is expected. High office is not a platform, and I repeat again, is not a platform for self-actualization and pandering to ego. It is a rare calling, a precious honor bestowed on so very few. It is a call to service with honor and integrity, to servant leadership, to sacrifice, to collective accountability and responsibility, and above all, it is about selflessness in order to guarantee growth and prosperity that leaves no single Kenyan behind. My government promises to give each and every Kenyan better services and a secure platform upon which, through the sweat of their brow, they can realize all their dreams for a better and more prosperous tomorrow. Kenyans expect, and in my second term, I have promised they shall receive an open, transparent, and accountable government that will be easily accessible, responsive, and committed to excellence. And as I have said, 
It is now business unusual, not business as usual. I trust and indeed I have no reason to doubt that you will match these expectations. This might also be the appropriate time to say that should you at any time, and I say this to you, and I say it to those behind me, that should you at any time feel the weight is too much, just say so. Just say so. There are other Kenyans ready to do the job. Siju kama tumekubalia na wenzangu. Na nasema hivyo kwa heshima, kwa kila mtu. Should you? Amna haja tuendele. Awe na mna gani? Ndiyo tuheshmiyane. Our nation's unity is at the heart of my second administration. As a country, our greatest strength has always been our diversity and ability to form for many a unified and greater nation. It is for that reason that we have taken deliberate steps to form a cabinet that reflects the face of Kenya, our cultural, religious, ethnic, and gender diversity, with an eye on mixing the vigor and ingenuity of our youth with a steady hand of experience and proven track records. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I have no hesitation in saying that I believe we have, as best as can be, Kenyans assembled in cabinet to deliver the best for our people. And with those few and very brief remarks, I wish you every success. You can count on my support as I will count on your support in helping us deliver a better, freer, more prosperous Kenya for our people and for our children's children. I am a church in Asema Mungu wa Bariki, Margaret Jipange, Nege Kopale, Tunayenda Kazi Naivasha. Tuende. God bless you and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now proceed to the back of the stand for a photo session. And as I said before, the first picture shall be the cabinet.